Facial hair, either your best friend or your worst enemy. Everybody wants a thick, full beard, a masculine aesthetic that'll attract the ladies and make you look like the perfect gentleman. But sometimes a thick, full beard isn't the answer. Some of us just aren't capable of it. And for some of us, it just doesn't fit. So, what's the perfect beard for you? Which style should you go for? The key to choosing the right beard for your face shape is contrast. A good beard will always contrast with your overall face shape whilst emphasizing some of your best features. If you had a prominent jawline etched from stone, you wouldn't want to hide that with a full lumberjack beard, would you? As a guy, a strong jawline is a very attractive feature for the ladies. Now you want to bring out these attractive features, you want to emphasize them, not overshadow them with a beard that doesn't fit. There are a few guidelines for choosing the beard that fits you best. Firstly, are you capable of growing the beard you want? If you've got a patchy beard with gaps especially near the cheeks, then growing a thick full beard isn't really an option, no matter how well it'd go with your overall face shape and features. A patchy beard usually looks messy, and it takes away from the overall look rather than contributing to it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't grow a beard. It just means you should grow a beard that doesn't show the patchiness or the gaps like a disconnected goatee which we can see on people like Johnny Depp. Secondly, does your face shape lend itself to this specific style of beard? The general rule of thumb is, you need to balance the contrast between your face shape, your hairstyle, and your brows. Let's start with the face shape. If you've got a narrower face shape with a smaller chin, then contrasting this with a fuller, wilder beard will fill out your face shape and make your chin look bigger. If you've got a broader face shape, then you should instead contrast this with a more clean-shaven beard that lends to the aesthetic by making your face look sharper and a bit narrower. Usually, the face shape is what makes or breaks the style you choose. So let's look at some that absolutely work and some that don't. LeBron James, NBA All-Star, has quite a narrow face shape, and the way he cuts and tapers his beard is very narrow as well. From the sides, his beard may look fine, with quite an appealing edge to his chin. However, when you look at him face on, that appeal goes away as you see the beard amplifying his narrow face shape rather than complementing it creating an odd face shape that looks something a bit like a transformer. Look at Drake on the other hand. He has the exact same beard shape and style, but a completely opposite face shape. Broader and less narrow, which makes the beard compliments him greatly. His face is a little bit fuller and wider, which makes the beard even things out better. Once you've locked down your face shape, let's look at the hairstyle. Usually people focus first on the hairstyle as the crowning feature. Then they move on to thinking about the complimentary beard. This neither hurts nor hinders, but if you're dead set on a specific beard, then you should adjust your hairstyle to fit. If you've got long or unruly hair, then you should switch up your beard to be more clean shaven, more on the shorter side. The less hair you have, the wilder and bushier you can go with your beard, to kind of make up for the lack of hair above. Take for example James Harden. He's got a lively beard, but when you look at his hairstyle, it's the complete opposite. He's got a very well-groomed head of hair that is meticulously lined and faded and this contrast between his hair and his beard gives him a unique look that complements itself and lends to his overall appearance. Lastly, we have the eyebrows, which are more connected to the beard than you probably think. If you've got wild, bushy eyebrows, then adding a wild, bushy beard will make you look more like a disheveled hobo rather than a gentlemanly lumberjack. And if you've got narrow, manicured eyebrows, then a narrow, manicured beard won't appear masculine at all and will make you overall look much more feminine. Always think of it as a balancing act, where on one end of the spectrum you have too much bushy, wild hair, and on the other end you have too little, too clean-shaven and manicured hair, whether that be facial hair, eyebrows, or hairstyle. However, that being said, it is a spectrum, and you can move along this spectrum of short versus long hair as you wish, but within limits. And one of the most important questions is, does this beard style fit your aesthetic? Does it fit your character? One of the beards that best fit the person behind it is probably Jason Momoa. He generally likes to get dirty, ride motorbikes, climb stuff, and does a lot of activities. He's a rugged, handsome man, and his beard captures that. It's long, wavy, and more on the straighter side, but it's also a bit rough and scraggly, almost like a pirate, a bit rascally. The beard fits the overall look to the extent that you can't really imagine him with a very tuned up, clean shaved, outline beard. And that's how you build the perfect aesthetic beard for you. If there's one takeaway from this video, it's contrast. Not all beard styles work for all people, and nor can all people grow all beard styles. It's a spectrum, and you have to find the balance between your face shape, hairstyle, eyebrows, and beard growth to find your place on this spectrum. Not any beard works.
If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy one of those on your screen now. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.